something I heard about Dr. Sultan Ismail, which I asked him also. During his earlier years when he was a professor, one thing which he did back then, I'm talking a couple of decades back, he and the students used to take earthworms with them. And they used to drop it inside houses which have trees. This was done as a social activity to bring back good soil to us. So this is something we need to respect and we have to take it forward and I think that is the best gift that we can give him. Give him a good soil around. We always talk about living soil, we talk about life in the soil, we talk about everything but our health is based on the health of the soil. Finally what the soil gives us is what we eat, right? Fine. Now when we want to talk about it, uh, you all agree to this, yeah, especially the elders. Teachers teach us, right? As living and non-living, do they or do they not? Why? Uh, air, is it living or non-living? Non-living. What are we? Living. This is the teacher told you, is it? Right. The teacher told you that air is non-living, we are living. But... Yes, very good. So it is non-living, but we are living. But in case we remove the non-living air from our body, what do we become? That nobody tells us. Water is non-living. We are living. Remove the non-living water from our body. We become? Uh, why do we need that? To breathe. Very good, Peter. Very good. You are breathing. Aditya says he needs air to breathe. You had your breakfast? What did you have for breakfast? Puri. Can I use your name, Aditya? Right. Aditya said that he... What did you have for breakfast? Puri. Puri. Now, Puri, does it have more amount of flour in it or more amount of oil in it or what does it have more? Oil. No, Puri. Flour. Now, flour. Flour, does it have more amount of protein or more amount of carbohydrate or more amount of fat? More amount of? Flour has more amount of? Carbohydrate. 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 Now, carbohydrate is made up of carbon, hydrogen, Oxygen. So what did Aditya have for breakfast? Carbon, oxygen. Where do you normally find carbon, hydrogen, oxygen? So what did Aditya have for breakfast? Can you say for breathing? Yes, children. Yes, yes, children. We all had air for breakfast. We will have air for lunch. We will have air for supper. All plants make use of the same air and convert it into an end product. Some plants we eat. The plants we eat, we call it as food. That's all. Is that clear? So air should be clean enough. Now when I look at those components, we also include the fire and the ether along with it and we call it as the panja. Panja? Panja budas. Panja budas. Now these panja budas are very important. Two major components. Just have an idea about this guy. Even though it's not here. Uh, two major components happen. Energy flows from the sun and goes into the system. At the same time, nutrients cycle. Because everybody wants money. So to still And then we have a concept called as biodiversity. Bio means? Life. Diversity means? Very good children. And we India, we are very, very rich in biodiversity. You yourself know you are doing so many plants. It's a very rich biodiversity. Very rich fabric. We have beautiful flowers. Imagine the beautiful rose over there. Right? And then we have uh, lovely birds. I think it's also open for the people here. Lovely birds. And then you have magnificent animals. Right? We have variety of vegetables. And each variety vegetable, we have several varieties. Can you go to the mountain? For each vegetable, we have several varieties. We have several avrakpa. We have when we take katrika, we have several several varieties of katrika. Remember that we have it, and all these things belong to our country. You can read it for yourself. All these crops are from our country. What happened was when the British came, he started giving new names because it was easy for them. He called something as cow pea, something as chick pea, something as pigeon pea, something as the horse gram, and we started thinking that the animals should eat it, and we lost our other grains. One of the best nutrients that which can uh, combat cholesterol is food. So we have to recollect that.
and all these there are a variety of animals we have. Now in this variety of animals, these two are in conflict even today. This is our cattle. Boss indicus. Boss is the generic name. Like Homo sapiens. Right? Boss is cattle. Boss <coughs> indicus is Indian cattle. Taurus is a global sign. You know the zodiac sign. Boss Taurus is the Western cattle. When you look at them both, the Indian cattle has <coughs> And this is South Cat. So when you look at it, this is Boss Vivalis, which is Yermad. <coughs> you know Yermad? Yeah. Buffalo. Yeah, Buffalo. Fine. This is our Desi, this is Pardesi. <laughs> <laughs> right? Fine. Now when you look at it, we have we had so many breeds of our own cattle, Raja. We have so many breeds that these breeds, this is how they all act. That is the strength of our breed. Our strength of the breed was to develop muscles and agility in the book. The main aim of Indian tradition was to develop agility in the book. Main trend was the muscles, which were stronger muscles. And what happened was, it is stronger muscles, I'm sorry, you will be able to see how a child is reacting. But in the Western bull now, the Belgian bull, which they would like to bring the semen into our country, this is how they want the bull. Look at the bull. There they want meat to eat, flesh. So the entire concept is different. I hope you are all clear now. Why this con conflict takes place? Now when this happens, at the same time this came into our biodiversity. Who is this? Chicken. And today everybody thinks that the white legon is the only chicken in the world. That's the only chicken in the world. Whereas we, when we grew up, we grew up in the world, multicolored. You can also have a wonderful cold in the course of time. You can ask uh, Aladdin to start a poultry station here and have a variety of poultry so you can play with them. Local breeds. You know, like when I was young, when I was young, in, hot, in 70 days, the chicken would be like this, standing attention on its two legs. The chicken today you eat in the market in 45 days is unable to stand on its legs. Right. Why? It's overweight for its body. And how does overweight come? By eating not just food, the food is adulterated with hormones which put on weight. And when we eat it in copious quantities, we also put on weight. Because indirect source of hormones and antibiotics is going into our body. Is that clear, children? Please be aware of what's happening around us. And then we have, you know, like, uh, all these species are being threatened now. All these are being threatened. And in this threatened state, we find here, imagine there is a bird here. I hope you are able to see it. There's a bird here. bird is taking nectar from the car. A bird is taking nectar from the car. At the same time, here there is an insect. It says, give me a lift. I have to go to the next flower faster. So there is a relation. Flower, bird and insect. If I remove the bird, complete, the species, not one bird, complete, then in the course of time, the plants which were dependent on the bird will start growing away. The insects which were depending and helping in pollination will also start going away. This bird is missing. Who is he? Sparrow. Today we are unable to see the sparrow. Your grandchildren will not be able to see the plants that were associated with the sparrow. So can you start some sparrow homes here? <coughs> some small cages, see to it whether they come. Because it's open field. In case they start coming, you will be like. That's here? Fine. Now what happens is this bird. What is this bird? Very good children. Very good. Dodo. Dodo is extinct. Am I right? Yes. But after several hundred years, suddenly people saw or noticed that a particular tree, Calvaria major, coming on the Calvary Barono. Calvaria major is missing. Now the bird was extinct. Why should the tree go missing? Relationship. That is, unless the bird will eat that fruit and send the seed along with its excreta, the seed will not germinate. This is called as plant animal interaction. Is that clear? You can do a lot of research on it. Plant animal interaction. What is soil? 
Coilus or living thing. According to Agriculture University, it is mineral matter. Soil is food, right? Soil is life. That is why suddenly the Western countries suddenly got up in 2015 and declared soil as International Year of Soils. Because they suddenly realized that the soils were going bad. How did how is soil form? Does soil have an age? Mandipai Suta Ilya. Soil has age or not? Yes. Soil has no age. Rock has an age. And every day soil is getting formed. Every day soil is getting formed. Just like this old article. You know like soil, you remember this article. Right? You know like at home they used to grind. The same way you start getting soil every day from the weathering process. Is soil non-living mineral matter or living organism? Living organism. Non-living. Very good. Non-living. Living. Non-living. Non-living. Very good. What is the difference between living and non-living? Living has digestive system, respiratory system, circulatory system, excretory system, reproductive system, nervous system. Soil doesn't have all this. Am I right? Yes. Now, in case a dog is lying dead here, dog is lying dead here, one day, two days, three days, what will happen? And how, what's the smell? It will stink, right? But if I dig a pit, if I dig a pit, two feet by two feet by two feet, put the dead dog inside, bury it, do you get the smell? What happened to the dog? Who, who decomposed it? What, what is there in the soil? Microorganisms, right? Now, when I eat food, who does the job in my stomach? Microorganisms. So, what do we call it as? Digestive system. So, logically speaking, soil has a? Yes, better. Soil has a digestive system. Right? Just like, just like uh, we take in oxygen and give out carbon dioxide, soil also takes in oxygen and gives out carbon dioxide. So, soil has a? Respiratory system, very good. So soil has a respiratory system. Very good. Now, Aditya, in case you get hurt over here, the doctor gives a tablet. Do you put it in the mouth or give it to your leg? <laughs> what are you doing? Where do you put it? Mouth. And how does the medicine go to the leg? Circulatory system. Do you at home every day you go here in your field, pull up the plant and treat the roots or you put it from the top? Then how does the food and the water go to the root? Soil has a excretory, sorry, circulatory system. Now when you give a break, when we give a break, we visit one special room. And especially when the class is boring, we go there. What is that place? Rest room, right? In the same way, soils will not take salt and send it inside the soil. Soil will bring the salt and throw it out. That is what is saline soils. So soil has an excretive system. This reproductive system, we all study in science books that there is the in vitro fertilization, test tube baby. You have all read it in the books and all. Even though you do plants with tissue culture, these plants have to be put into the soil because the plant establishes a placental connection with the soil. So soil has a reproductive system. The last one, I recently suddenly thought, Mandir Mulauda, the soil have a break? No, poss not possible at all. Soil cannot have a brain. Only we are supposed to have a brain, right? Right, right. You put any material in the soil, any organic material in the soil, what does the soil do? But when you put a seed in the soil, the soil has a brain to distinguish between what it should decompose and what it should germinate. So soil also has a brain. That is why in organic farming, that is why in our culture, we respect the soil. Is that clear to you all? Fine. Very good. Very good. That's why the soil is alive. Soil, does the, the, so the soil have smell? One vasanai? India, India? No smell. Soil has absolutely no smell. You take the soil right in the sun, smell it. No smell. 
But when the rain comes, I will send you back to class one. Because teacher told no. Water is colorless, tasteless, waterless. So water also has no smell, soil also has no smell. But the soil has smell. That is because of microorganisms which live in the soil. Is that clear, children? Is that clear? Now, supposing you find a uh, fish which is dead, but you want to keep it safe, there is no fridge, there is no ice. What will you do? Salt. What will happen if you put salt? Antibacterial. So microorganisms will not grow. So what the fish in Amamaro? What do you call the dry fish as? Dry fish as, what do you call it as? Tamil Nadu. Karuadu. Karuadu. So the same thing in the soil. If you keep on adding salts, because nitrate is the salt of nitrogen, phosphate is the salt of phosphorus, potassium is the salt of potash. If you keep on adding these salts, what happens to the soil? Soil becomes a tharwad. Dry fish, salted fish. Right? This is what is happening. And supposing the moment you go now and the teachers give you something to eat and there is too much of salt in it, what is the first thing you will want? Water. So if I keep on adding too much of salt in the soil, what do I need more for the soil? Water. Water. So these are all interlinked and all the others will also be talking about it. Right? Now soil, if you want to study the soil, you can also do this simple experiment. Take soil, put it in a bottle, add water, shake it, keep it from different areas, you can find different classification of soil. If you want to be more simple, just take soil in your hand. Slightly moist soil. Take it in your finger and this one make it into a wick, wick terimala thiri. If this wick, you are not able to make it, then it is sand. If you are able to make it, it goes to about one, one and a half inches maximum, it breaks. It is good garden soil. If you are able to go on making to two inches or so, it is clay soil. That's all. Is that clear? You can try all these experiments, right? So even on a small tumbler, you can just take a plastic tumbler or a glass tumbler, put soil, Put water and keep and study different soils of your area. How they are different from each other. These are all the soil organisms. These are all the soil organisms. And in these organisms, two are very important. Earthworms and termites. Earthworms and termites. Even though these two are the big animals who work, Anelida and arthropods, the basic function is done by microorganisms that Lucas will be covering about. I will not go into those things, right? Microorganisms. The microorganisms which give a lot of impetus to the soil. What happens is, this is called as porosphere. What is porosphere? The soil particles in the farm. When I have soil particles and space in between, that is called as porosphere. Now if there is a concrete wall, and if I want to put a nail in it, can I put a nail in it? <coughs> so what do I do? I drill. What do the earthworms do in the soil? They drill. So the space out of the soil is called. Just remember this. Right? Who is this? Cow. How often do we remember the cow? Every year. One not jelly cut a part of the This year. This is a very popular now, isn't it? Right. Only once a year. Once upon a time you use it for plowing the soil. And not only plowing the soil. When you plow the soil with tackle, the soil comes up. Better. When you use a plow and move the soil, the soil keeps coming up. But when I use a tractor, the heavy wheels of the tractor compact the soil. When soil gets compacted, the soil air escapes. Soil also has air in it. Cartoon. This air escapes. When air escapes, soil organisms vanish. Right? There should be soil air. That is why you loosened up the soil and you started growing. That's what the uh, 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 right? So the dig up, air it is very important. And instead, in India, we use so many tons of chemical fertilizers in machines. Every day we so many. I don't think we have to see this. This is how I found it. 
Ahmed are spraying pesticides and sorry, most of the pesticides go away into the water and you clean the water when this water is created. One of the most ancient techniques, agriculture. And we have added so much of chemicals into it that our agriculture has become Right? In a CLA. We do that on the Pasumi Prince's story. Green Revolution told us. But this is what Green Revolution gave us. With suicide texts in the farms. We have a big meeting with farmers tomorrow. So you know like all this is happening. And soils are going thirsty. Farmers are dying. And farmers are using out of ignorance a lot of pesticides to spoil their own health. And soil you are not able to see anything. Finally, what do we get in the plate? Oh, is there in the plate? And this is growing. Please, children, be aware of it. Parents, please be aware. All this is this from the cancer institute, and this is a train which goes every day from Patinda in Punjab to Bikaner in Rajasthan, where there is a cancer hospital, cancer train, yeah, cancer express, and it carries not less than hundred farmers every day. What is the cancer? You can Google for Cancer Express, you will get all the information. So people talk about soil fertility. Our culture talks about soil health. And in this soil health, trees are very important. This gives us all this information. Right? And uh, modern research says that big trees communicate with small trees. You know that? Big trees communicate with small trees and the small neighboring tree is hungry. The big tree provides food for it. You know that? These are all modern research. That is why in our culture, you go to any old temple or But today's policy is the trees and the money. Every road expansion project, the first thing we do is And the rain comes, what happens to the soil? Erodes. And this soil, where does it go? Where does the rain go? Now what is this? For a moment, I think that what happens with us. Please follow this carefully. What is this? Okay. Now this, this earth, I am cutting it into four pieces. This earth, I am cutting it into four. Please follow this carefully. Okay. How many pieces? Oh. I thought intelligent children will always ask, so there is one in this hand. So how many pieces? Three is how much percentage? 78%. 78% of the earth is roughly covered with? Very good. 25% is? Land. I'm cutting land into two. I'm going to cut the land into two. Land. Not suitable for human inhabitation. Human beings cannot live. Example. Desert, Antarctica, Arctica, volcanic regions, etc. Human beings can live. This I'm cutting it into four. This I'm cutting it into four. Three, human beings can live, but not suitable for agriculture. Well on my team, dear. Not suitable for agriculture. It is only 1 by 32 of the earth, roughly. 1 by 32 of the earth. You saw the whole earth. Now 1 by 32. This alone is suitable for human inhabitation and agriculture. Breathe, Raja. Now I'll take the field This is what is top soil. This is what is giving us food. That's here. Nature at an average takes 250 years to generate one inch of top soil. What can you do to protect it? Start with it. That is why you start with it. So that you carry home the food. You carry it to many more people. It is not just for growing plants. It is to protect the soil. That's it. 
okay now when you want to protect the soil We have earthworms and with the help of earthworms, we have three types of earthworms. Don't worry about the size. We have three types of earthworms. One variety which lives on the surface of the soil. In Tamil we call it as male metaphorical. In English we call it as APJ. AP means above laying with soil. We want the above state of soil. Second group which keeps moving up and down. Creates burrows in the soil. We call them as anasic. Anasic means intermediate. The third variety which keeps moving into the soil. These are called as burrowing worms or the endogenic. Three types of worms. These are all of the local varieties of worms. These worms today have multiplied in our country to a large extent for import. For composting purposes. Right? These are the cocoons which are like eggs. And from these eggs, the young ones are the The young one is born in the country. have a decomposed product which is produced and then automatically in those days earthworms will come. Now when we introduce the earthworms, they start to And we keep a cow dung cake. You know cow dung cake? Variety. We keep it on top of it. So they are multiplied hard and this is how they produce the earth by me compost. Very simple procedure. Very simple procedure. If you want to know where variety is available, it is available on Amazon.com. <laughs> This is designed for Sri Kshetra, Sri Kshetra's Goshala. It's very simple to have this thing done, very simple. Sorry that they're not even safe. But uh, you can easily make use of cow's urine and uh, other materials to enrich the site. To enrich the site. Very simple procedures we have developed. This we have to talk about. Now when it rains, and if I hold the umbrella, where will the water fall? On my head or around the umbrella? So, right. Now, if I don't carry an umbrella and if it's a big grown tree, I go and stand under the shade of the tree. A few drops may fall on my head, but where does most of the water fall? Around the tree. Where does it fall? Around the tree. Nature is an excellent teacher. Why should it go and fall there? It goes and falls there because the roots which eat and drink are there. And in big institutions, including agricultural universities, we put water and soil and compost near the tank and then we say nothing goes. Is that clear? Right? So please see when when you grow trees, you are able to do it properly. How much of water we require for a plant? Now supposing I tell, give me water to drink. What will Navin, Mr. Navin, no water also to drink. Okay. Now if I ask Navin, give me water to drink, what will you give me in? In here? In a town. Ah, that is feeding water babies. We used to drink from the pot, a tumbler of water. Now, if I tell him that I have come straight from uh, somewhere traveled, I want to have a bath. What will he give water in? Bucket. If I tell him I am fed up with you, man, I want to commit suicide, what will he show me? <laughs> a big pond or a lake. Right? So, for a person of this size, if a tumbler of water is enough, how much of water is required for the pond? limited water. Soil requires moisture, not water. Many places we mistake, we over water the plants and destroy the plants. The clear to you children, that's very important. These are very important stages of growth. Suppose a plant, a small baby plant is like a child. A child, what it will do? It frequently go, put hands in water, come back. Little water every day. Right? Similarly, the plant also grows. Okay? As it grows into this girl, Together. This girl says, I need fire, I want to grow. They are all very dynamic, you know, they all fight with you, these girls. Do they or do they not? Be honest, they will not be too. Right. So they want to grow, that's a growing stage. So we have to give feed accordingly. Next is that you find that these plants become like a young lady. They say that I am a free bird at that time. So prune the plants properly at that time. And then you become a mother. They require space. 
give them enough spacing. And finally, nursing mother has to be provided the major nutrition. If you follow the same pattern for the plants, plants grow good. Plants grow good. How much of soil is required for a plant? Building There are trees which grow on the walls of the building. How much of soil is there? How much of soil? That much of soil is enough for growing plants. There is no problem. All the sweet boxes you get from shops, which are plastic boxes, you can put two holes. Right, you put some two holes in it, mix with um, cocoa pit, soil and compost, fill it up, buy this uh, fenugreek, vendium, methi, put it on it, you have in 12 to 15 days lovely methi sag in your That much of soil, that much of soil. And these trilospheres which the worms create, we set up a unit called as vermi wash. This is the first drum which we designed in 1981. I hope you are able to imagine a drum over there. Yeah, a big drum. But it was so... For farmers it was expensive. 200 rupees was expensive. So we made a smaller one, 50 rupees. For some farmers it was expensive. We made it for 10 rupees in a flower pot. Now your school child has made it for free for arms in plastic bottles. You can also do it. All these things you can have an idea of. This is how it works for both of them. This is how a child has developed their food. Similarly, you can use panjakavya. Panjakavya is a solution prepared with the help of five ingredients from the cow. All the procedures are available on my website. I'll give it to you finally. Everything for free download. There's also an app from which you can download everything free. This is the procedure, all the procedures given over there. We also prepare, we have, I'm not talking about passion. As the Herald Department of Biotechnology, we have worked in details of using vermi <coughs> wash and panjakavya, growing plants, studying their anatomy, studying their chromosomes, and studying their molecular structures. Our country has all these resources, but we madly think that what the West says is acceptable. <laughs> That is the biggest nuisance which has happened over a period of time. We have all these wonderful resources. In fact, uh, one of the farmers you are not able to see here. This farmer, I told him to use something, but he said he has a better idea and I learned from it. There are so many things, other things like that. You will be talking, uh, Lucas will be talking about EM, definitely will be talking about EM, FK microorganisms. But we also teach those experiments. Take any food, fruit which is overripe, overripe. Put in a plastic bottle, no glass bottle, plastic bottle, because glass bottle will take. Put equal quantity of jaggery, well up, mix it up well. Put water, allow it to ferment. After about 15-20 uh, days, open it, you, you, every day you just take it. You just smell it, you smell beautiful alcohol smell coming. Fermentation is not. It has all the microorganisms diluted in it. Use fish waste, use any fruit waste, you have wonderful material. Why your experiments? You should not just grow plants. You should be a scientist, each one of you. Is that clear? Each one of you should develop something unique. Each one of you should come out with examples. Each one of you should come out with examples. Similarly, from those you can prepare, from fish you can prepare, from egg shells you can prepare. On the car, go and ask your grandmother. Some guy came and told about egg shells. He will tell you, I what is new, man? I used to put two egg shells in my plants in those days itself. That is our knowledge. That is the banking knowledge which we have. And many houses where they eat non-vegetarian food, ask them, they will say, fish waste, waste, but no good as this. Where they put another thing? Right? Because there's a lot of amino acids in it. So all this is traditional technology. We are giving a scientific outlook to it so that people accept these technologies as a good thing. These are simple procedures of hanging, producing materials. For seed treatment, many people use pesticides. This uh, termite mound, you know? And that soil is an excellent pest repellent. You mix uh, the uh, karyan putumanna, karyan putumanna along with a little bit of cow dung and cow's urine. Mix up your seeds into it, allow it to dry in shade like your wear kadala with the layer so coating and sow it, no taste effect. There are so many simple mechanics, all these things work out in the bio. At the same time, all the compost you can convert it. For converting compost, you 
can add any any material which has microorganisms. Cow dung can be added. Dilute cow dung like rasam, not like sambar. <laughs> like rasam, dilute, sprinkle it is enough. Or you, he will talk about EM, you can use EM. Or any fermented material. Wheat like compost ponna sir, engal cow dung ala kondo ramudiyar. Best source, nalla pulche thayir. Curd, very sour curd, it becomes yellow. Has streptococci, lactobacilli, all the microorganisms. Dilute it, add it, pour on. Don't make it something big and uh, complicated. Very simple things. Pre digest it. Excuse me, I'm not able to show you the slides properly. Maybe someday I'll come to your school again and show it in the auditorium. So, yeah. This increases heat, destroys the microorganisms, and then slowly the steam is left out. And after cooling, give it to the worms. That is biryani mother. Right? The mistake which people do is they put all the organic matter, put the earthworm sauce into it, and it becomes earthworm biryani. <laughs> because the heat they take. Is that clear to you, children? It should not be hot. Not be hot. The compost is produced and biryani. You can do home composting, but because lots of homemakers are there, just one minute of attention from you. We request you, in case you are not able to do it in a big way, just buy seven flower pots. Seven flower pots. Call them as Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sunday's pot. These flower pots will have holes at the base. Check, check, check whether the opening is open. Put a little bit of black stones at the base alone. Sunday's waste, vegetable waste. Cut it, chop it, put it inside. Start always with vegetable waste. Please do not start with non vegetarian waste. Because if you mismanage, that clear to you? Learn first and then go for non vegetarian if you want to use non vegetarian Now put this vegetable waste, add a little bit of that liquid thyr or a little bit of sani or a little bit of fermented juice, whichever it is. Put a little bit of soil on top of it. Mondays in Monday, Tuesdays in Tuesday. For an ordinary home today, ordinary small house, you know like you generate around 100 to 150 grams of this waste. You come back to the first spot after 7 days, by the time half of it is gone. Once in a month, you have added only four times in each pot. Take a stick, mix it up. Once in a month. It takes roughly three to six months, depending upon the family, to get all the seven pots full. Now mix it up, sprinkle little water, allow it to decompose, your material is ready. Leave another 15 days. On the Katrika weather, on the Takari weather, on the Vendaka weather, your organic garden is ready automatically. That's all. Or you can even try like what they are doing. The simplest is identify three feet of land. Three feet of land. And for God's sake, don't use this field. Right? Nowadays everybody uses them by them. Roughly three feet. Put a circle. Dig it like a kadai. The center should be one and a half feet max. One and a half to two feet. Dig it a kadai and take the soil and put it around that. We call it as ring garden, which even Oroville was doing it for a long time. It's called as a ring garden. Put your waste in the middle, add a little bit of powder, automatically soil organisms start multiplying, composting. After about a month, on the inner side, put your uh, ear, uh, katamali, pudina. On the outer side, put your katrika, vetraka, takali. You are doing waste management, safe and harvesting food for that. There are so many simple things you can do at home. You can always choose your baby, we decide the size of the food you want. Do whatever you want, but I am worried about only one thing which I want because it's very light gathering here. Uh, uh, Sri Lanka had invited for a discussion on waste management in the US and they want us to buy this machine, two machine for cutting, this machine for cleaning, uh, this machine for turning. I'm sorry, you're not able to see the machines. Look at the size of the machine. Like And for washing clothes, the washing machine. Every household has a washing machine. And this water which goes out has only soap inside. If I can remove the soap, I can use the water. Am I right or wrong? Yeah? Very simple. It's called a blue zone thing. Put the water, put stones in it, and have your tub body. Can I take a 
beautiful plant or phragmatus australis I know. or you use other plants like uh, uh, sepal curry it gives the excellent results of this water can be used for several other purposes maybe the school can start developing this body now tell me who is the greatest scientist on the farm one professor you know look at him Professor, goat. Children always remember, goat can eat all sorts of plants, but some plants the goat will not. Eat. Take that plant. The goat says, "Uh huh, eat it, crush it, ferment it. Excellent test. That's all. That's all. You need not ask anybody else. That's why this plant is called Aadha Thoda. The name itself comes from Aadha Thoda. Aadha Thoda." For pest repellents, please make use of your kitchen. For pest repellents, make use of your kitchen. Garlic is an excellent pest repellent. Inji pound perengayam, excellent pest repellent. Chilli is an excellent pest repellent. You standardize it yourself. You standardize it yourself. Right? We are talking out of all experiments that have been done. What happens to the soil, organic carbon? What happens to the soil? How soil changes? What happens to water retention of the soil? All this can be done. Too. All this can be done. Some quick slides about uh, certain things I would like to tell you. One simple identification. Now you are experts. Now you are doing this agriculture. Somebody takes you out and says, "Is this soil good or bad?" What will you say? How somebody takes you somewhere and Soil good or bad? Visual proof. Look, look where the cow has dropped its dung. Where the cow has dropped its dung. If the dung gets dried like a fat, there are no microorganisms there. If the dung has opened up like small, 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 small bits, then there are lots of microorganisms. Very simple test which you can do. You can study them. You can study bacterial colonies. Our seeds are all vanishing, children. You should know genetically modified seeds are coming. For us, food is medicine. For them, they want medicine in food. We don't want medicine in food, right? What will happen? Biodiversity will make all the judo karate hoo ha. Why does not it help? Put it down. So what can we do? You know about the old story: the fox was able to jump at the grapes. Uh, did he get the grapes? No. 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 They did. He was able to get the grapes. How did the crow take the water from the pot? No, today it is a straw. <laughs> How did the tortoise in the race? It was the hare. Today it is a skateboard. But can we compromise on these things? Can we compromise? The problem I face in my world after working on this field is there are too many groups that have formed in organic farming. At least so in the minds of children. That we are have the same goal. Some people call it as organic, some permaculture, some biodynamic, some natural, some sustainable. There are so many branches. Let the branches be there. Let the roads be there. Let the paths be there. But our destination is only one. And whether it is uh, permaculture or whether it is uh, any type of farming, we call. We are all working towards one end, and that is non-chemical, non-poisonous. Dear you all, let us all aim towards one direction. And simple basic food habits for you children. From here upwards today, you will have the national flag in your canteen. What flag? What is the first color on the top? Orange. You must take some food of that color every day. It can be papaya. It can be carrot. It can be orange. It can be pumpkin. It can be mango. But just carrot in it. The second color, white. Today, many women are suffering with calcium deficiency. I hope you know the problem. I don't want to talk over here. Take a little bit of milk if possible, or something which can give you calcium. Third color. Take green colored vegetables. For you are information, children. Paneer is vegetarian, but not a vegetable. Here they are. Yes. Green colored vegetables alone give us all the nutrients, all the minerals, and the fiber that is required for the body. Nar satrambu mukyanam. Central color of the wheel. Blue. Take sufficient quantity of water. And how many lines in the wheel? 24 hours follow our dry color. We don't require any food from any part of the world. And you can get it. I had to stress the 
serves this to me. I still go to my school to take classes every year because our food alone is our soy. Our food alone is our soy. Bring the food, put the burger and the pork will replace our food. Now, it's bomb, right? And take home message for all the homemakers here. Rawal of Pupu to Sama China parents. 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 यार कौन मायरंग आता? इन्हीं की बिक्री का कलर इस नॉट केस दर माय जस सनसेट एलो सिक्स विच कैन कॉस कैंसर। इट इस नॉट केस दर इट कैन कॉस कैंसर। तो प्लीज यूज सैफ्रॉन और कैरमल और टर्मरी। ऑल द सुपर इंडियन पकोड़ास, योर ब्यूटीफुल गोबी पकोड़ास जिस कम इन डेंजरस रेड कलर, ऑरेंज इस � it's not orange color. It's only color. Only color. Only color. And remember what these fellows do in uh, advertisements. When I was a kid, I used to use charcoal for brushing my teeth. We use charcoal and do it. No, no, no. It's useless, tasteless. So we add a little bit of salt, very tasty, and then we do it. Right? This is what we did. And this fellow comes and asks me whether there is salt in my toothpaste or not. There is charcoal in my toothpaste. This is commercial. Right? And the funniest thing today is to have the water. Start thinking children. This is what multinational corporations are trying to do. They are trying to give some seeds and say that they have all the rights on everything which is happening in the world. Please start thinking what you are doing. We are not going to many more details about it, but please be very clear. These are the hundred experiments which we brought to children. I have given the website to my children and we have to have this done. That's the greatest reward I got from my sister. 